In the food industry, it's rare for any restaurant or drive through location to have the influence to impact the entire market of fast food. Because of this, it's very difficult to objectively determine which restaurant is better or even the best in the area. Factors like food quality, dining experience, and price are all important to consider. However, what if I told you there was a restaurant right now that's maximizing in all of these categories? A restaurant so good that you could go to it right now and end up leaving satisfied 99% of the time. Well, get ready, because this is the story of how Golden Corral became the best restaurant of all time. The year is 1917. James A. Corral has just sat down after working at his local fast food joint and watches as they close the store, placing the leftovers of that day in bins under warmers. This fascinates James and he begins to form an idea. You see, the food sold at that restaurant happened to be cheap and abundant, so James proposed to sell the food in a similar way they stored it, an all-you-can-eat style where burgers and hot dogs are placed under warmers where guests can grab. Upon hearing this, James's boss came and shouted, that's Golden Corral, and the first Golden Corral was created. For the few of you individuals who aren't aware of what Golden Corral is, like in the story, Golden Corral is a restaurant that serves almost any food imaginable in a buffet line which people pay for before they sit down and eat. That story also brings me to the first point of why Golden Corral is so successful. While their building and seating is styled in a way like a restaurant with waiters and waitresses, the food itself tastes like it came out of a drive through something never done before. This combination creates a unique environment and fools patrons into believing they're actually getting a good dining experience, when in reality they're eating the leftovers of the chilies next door for almost the same price. Price. Returning back to Golden Corral's origins, after the restaurant was founded by James A. Corral, an event that would shake the food industry would occur, which we now know today as the Golden Corral Sweep. After the first Golden Corral was opened, Americans from around the country flocked to fill up each location. Restaurants like McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King's, all of them now completely empty in the presence of this fast food giant. You see, the footage I've been using in this video that appears to be real life imagery of an empty Golden Corral was actually AI generated because it's that difficult to find an empty Golden Corral. However, while this giant in the restaurant business kept growing, so did a new problem. The desire to improve a product. You see, there's a story of a steak chef, like the one that would be behind the grill and cooking your sirloins. But well, one day, that steak chef discovered that if you add salt to something you cook, it tasted better. It said that upon telling his co-workers this, he was immediately pummeled to death and dismembered for more steak fillets. Golden Corral customers couldn't tell the difference. But word of this event began to spread, and locations all around the country began trying to find ways to improve the food. Some stopped using canned green beans, others started making their own dough. Infuriated, James sent a letter to all locations as CEO asking for franchisee owners to stop making the food better because it was against Golden Corral's core values. They continued infuriating James more. Okay, you see, I have to confess something. This Golden Corral that I said was AI generated is actually an empty Golden Corral. Not because no one's in it, but because it closed down. Now, why would a Golden Corral close down? Well, James figured that it was time to take things into his own hands, and any time a restaurant would receive a rating over 2.5 stars, he would personally make his way to that location and close it down himself. The location you're seeing now suffered the same fate by reviewing their average to 2.7 stars after giving too many people free refills. That being said, there's still a lesson we could take away from Golden Corral. The moral of the story to me seems to be that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Too many people attempted to make Golden Corral better, but in the end, it seems what made Golden Corral the best was that it was the worst. A true underdog and champion at the same time. Thank you for watching.